Hello and welcome back to Expeditions of Mud Runner Game. We are jumping straight back into Arizona today and we are going to head down to Coconino, Coconino uh, for the Arizona government and we have urgent repair. Observation towers are essential for keeping disasters at bay but for all they do for us we must also take care of them. First things first, what condition are they in? That's for you to find out. Bring us back some photos and we can assess how much degradation that they've suffered out there in the elements. Uh, normal difficulty, uh, about three and a half thousand kilometers uh, of objects bridge construction. Could be having to do with height changes. We want to take a specialist, uh, operator specialists, thus drones, I think. Uh, payment, prepayment is nearly three grand. Full payment is, ooh, 18 grand. And we have rewards, show rewards. We would get emergency reserves medium for uh, some some vehicles, or maybe for all vehicles, I don't know. And bonuses, recover truck less than three times for 500, take less than 200 damage for 500, and recognize at least three unknown points on the map, which we've had difficulty sort of doing of late. Uh, so, since we've got bridge construction, I think we will take we'll take the Tuz with us. I think that's going to be my go-to. We will check. We'll check. Have we got any any new things? We've got the roof rack. Half bunker reinforced. Boop, 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 boop. That's the best one, isn't it? Stock bumper, sun viver, sun viver, sun visor rims, frame modules. We'll take that. That's all good. Engine's fine. Oh, we've got the off road gearbox for it. Thank you very much. Sell that. Suspension. And we've got the rock crawler kit as well. please or do we have to do something different with the back now tires oh, what happened there uh uod's we want some uod 2s uod 3s don't we complete the bear crawl and continue the research okay winch if it's fine, snorkel is fine. So if we go back to frame modules, pop that back on. Front stock, sun visor back on. Just get rid of that so it doesn't come back again on the roof. Put that back on. The rear miscellaneous. Have our bolt on fenders to protect us. And then we want to fill our slots with fuel, spare parts, spare parts, and some more fuel. I'm happy with that. We got a new sticker to go on here. Look where you're going, and we still have the emotional support. We've unlocked anything else. Oh, someone left a comment. Uh, we should scan that. So, scan that. It's got a nice little Easter egg, apparently. I've not scanned it yet. I'll scan it later. I forget who it was, but you'll know who you are if you're still watching, so... Thank you for the tip. Uh, we are going to take... Jack screws. We'll take both of those. We'll take extra fuel. This is quite a trip. And we'll take that. Didn't say we need anything else, did it? So, I've been a bit rolly of late, haven't I? I might take extra jacks. And we'll take the... Um, might stick a scout out with some fuel on as well. Just in case. 
Not that we can really put extra fuel in it, can we? No. That's a shame. We'll remove that. I could always put the other cheap tuz out there with a load of fuel. I could put it out there, and then if we need it, I could put some fuel in it. Yeah, that's what I might do. Just standard. Leave as is, not spending money on it. Two tuzzers. Two tuzzers? I doubt that's right. <laughs> okay, so I want my operator. This is what we have to have. Uh, can trade. 50 bit range. Marks at eardrops. we we'll do that one because it's cheaper. And we're going to go with our mechanic because I do like the extra winch, the extra anchors. And we're also going to have Is it the Jaeger that gives us the extra? Yes. We'll take the Jaeger because it'll give us a few more jack screws. And that's my crew. But this is a good paying job. This is like a 20 grand job. So that should be fine for us. I think we've only got that one spot to go from. So let's go. Alright, so off that way please and thank you. Now before, actually before I get going, I'm going to put the drone up just so we can see about maybe triggering some stuff. What we got up here? Got an upgrade. Ooh, upgrade, upgrade. How do we get there? How do I get there? There? Up there? I think so, right. Then we get an upgrade. They always seem to be hiding right behind where you start. Whether that's an actual thing or just me reading into it. It's not going to be easy traversing that, is it? Got some other jobs as well now. Uh, out of dirt. Probably should trigger that one as well. But... Right, let's see if we can find a way to the upgrades. See if we can find a way past this tree. Baby steps. I was going to say, that's not a good day to start, is it? Perhaps we'll, we'll get our first anchor out now. We better find some more at this rate. Oh. Not good. That's not good. I do find that to be a little bit annoying. Sometimes there's just no... But why are we not getting any drive to the wheels while I've got things better at breast? Some more clamps, some more clamps, some more anchors. I 
though. There's no, no, no drive. I don't know why, why that happens so much. It's very, very frustrating. Sort of beached on one side now, I think. Not the start to this expedition I was hoping for. Can't lie. Not what I wanted. There we go. Right, we're through. This upgrade better be, better be good. That's all I can say. That's a fine tuned gearbox. <laughs> Ooh, UAD 5 advanced uh, tire set designed for balanced overall performance on all types of terrain. And this is for our trucks. It is a good one. Do we scrap the expedition to go back and get some better tires? supplies. I mean, it may even be worth setting up actual uh, points here now, I think. Come think of it. Yeah, we can't buy anything, can we? So, if I go there, what can... Storage, isn't it? Expanded park, and I'm not too worried about that. Hmm, what do we want? More essential storage, maybe? I'm gonna do it. Right. Well, we've got an upgrade. Let's head out. Because then that truck can actually uh, get some fuel when we need it. Where are we going? Where are we going? Up there. So, to get up here... That seems pretty simple. It's just straight through. Basically where we're going. So again, as always, guys, thanks for the support being shown on the series at the minute. It's, it's doing well. I'm, I'm very, very pleased, very humbled. It's nice. Glad people are enjoying it. Glad people are tuning in. So always open to any feedback on this series and any other series if you want to check out anything else that we do. A lot going on. Right, let's get scanning. That's broke, mate. I can tell you it's broke.
The tower's almost fallen down. It's only supported by a tree. We need to take a picture of it. Okay. I didn't bring a camera. So this is where we get to see if I needed that camera last time out. Because we took a camcorder with us. I need to start turning the engine off as well. So, what are we... Oh, that's me. There it is. Okay. There it is. There I... ourselves a photo. So, next up... Oh, we've got other stuff here now. What was that? What is that? What's that? Stock truck. Quest item. Okay. Well, the last one went so well. Okay, so we're going over to that one next. All these other jobs as well. Around the water... That's around the water, isn't it? Wrong address. Around the water. Now, I think you can start these jobs and then come back to do them another time. I'm not certain. But I've quite liked coming into free roam and just sort of kicking off um, map jobs, tasks and stuff. So I still might keep doing it that way rather than sort of starting bits and just... Oh, dear, we've got... Disappearing floor again. Now, I'd only seen that here in Expeditions. Until today on Reddit, I see that someone had put on Snowrunner. They have this as well. They have it in Alaska. Oh, I've never had that in Snowrunner. Personally. We got a way down. Are we not? Anchor it is. I have to be careful with these anchors, aren't I? Not being able to uh, purchase more of them. Let's we'll see if we can find an airdrop and hope that it's got something there. Check me, check me. down here and across the little island we will uh, quickly switch to morning or what I'm presuming to be morning it's hard to tell it can be middle of the day We're stuck on a little rock If you've already done, if you're ahead of me, if you're watching me and you're ahead of me in game, by all means, let me know how you approach things. What vehicles did you do? Did you do? What vehicles did you use? Uh, how, how about did you? How about did you uh, tackle the tasks? And also orders. If you've got any recommendations to orders, things that you think might be easier for us to do if we went and, went and did and what have you. I am a little bit ahead on the series, but always open to uh, suggestions and we can adapt as we go if there's things people would like to see I mean, it's been it hasn't yet come out me asking about mods but if people want to see uh, mods coming to the series you just let me know and work some mods in or if you'd like to do see me do some mod reviews look at some of the mods that have come in there aren't many that have sort of really took my interest. A lot of them are just sort of straight up conversions from SnowRunner and I just think they need to be a little bit different from that to, to have the uh, the abilities that we need here in uh, Expeditions. I'm not sure how all the capacities and everything is, is costing over if they just convert straight from SnowRunner. No, but there are some nice ones that I see that Mr. Mr. Boss has done. So uh, those, those might be worth a, a look at. Right, we'll take the anchor we will take and we'll take take it all and fuel take kindly oh actually we'll uh, well that did that did refuel for us okay right there do we 
need a repair. Okay, we do. So we'll just take a few more of those as well. All right, off we go. So yeah, I'm not going to worry about that around the water that was here. We'll just head over and we'll try and uh, focus on that excess there around the water. We'll focus on our task at hand, I think, which is quite some way off. Near the entrance when we came into the map. How we even get there? Could be a challenge. Perhaps we should consult our map. So we can, by the looks of it, travel along that plateau all the way across. Now, down here, there's a drop because we picked some stuff up there. So we could go that way. So if we go across, hopefully, along the plateau, should be doable, should be doable, I think. Or maybe not, that's already looking like, no, that's not doable. Not with that big boulder, I can get into that. So we can try maybe the next, next one up. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. I <laughs> wasted it. <laughs> Got cheeky. Tried to put myself a little bit further than uh, I should be. Put me down nicely. Nicely. There we go. Now from there. We go down. sense voices. So let's pull. We float it. Take that. We'll take a lucky roll any day of the week. I did see while scrolling through YouTube the other day that someone some some sort of review. I didn't click on it. Um but <laughs> I, just think, I hope their thumbnail is satire, because I, this game has the greatest truck physics. <laughs> so I hope that's satire. The games have this snow runner mud runner. They have great physics, but they're not the most uh, realistic. They work for the game. Part of the challenge. Although they they are definitely weightier. The trucks are definitely weightier in expeditions. I think I've said this before, making them feel a little bit slower and a bit more deliberate. Now, although we've got our rock crawling suspension on now, we're a bit bouncy, but as a rule, 
there's not a lot of, and even now there's not a lot of bounce to the truck if we had the uh, the really high suspension snow runner like we'd be bouncing everywhere because that's not currently the case for us here I don't want to go down that. I think I did. Ah, oh, I don't know. I think we can go. I think we can go off the edge. Why not? Let's go off the edge. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Got this. Tuz is a beast. Don't ever doubt it. So yeah, that's the watchtower up there that we're heading to. Yeah, I'd love to know what's going on with these um, holographic ghosts at the ghost town. Just for me, they don't add anything. If, if that's supposed to be ghosts, that does not add anything. And I have to do a task to uh, ease the ghost. Is this the best way up here? Looks like it. Just sort of going for it, but yeah. I think we've just got a good, good climb on our hands. Or on our wheels. Now we've just got to climb. This is the route. Bit fun as well. We're doing all this without the deer. Absolute beast, this Tuz. I said I wanted to try and keep these quite short, but I might even chuck in a couple of long episodes just so we can do some more of these jobs on the maps, especially once the ones that I can't get to work in Grand Canyon, once once they seem to be workable, we'll uh, maybe have a couple of long, long episodes where I'm just sort of getting jobs done, earning some money, progressing through things. So the hull of the tower began to collapse and it needs to be repaired urgently. Take a photo. Will do. Man's going to get right on it. Start scanning. Where is it? There it is. Oh. You know, these, these little jobs, they're not difficult, they're not amazing. Do they do they add a lot? You could say no, but are they something? Yes. And again, like I said, if you wanted to do deliveries and things like that, then there's snow enough. That's what snow enough is for. This is exploration, exploring, discovery. Eventually, we're going to get stuck into the meat of a little bit of a story, I think, from the, from the way that the trailers were and the trade, the exploration things. There'll be a bit more of a story to uncover. Hopefully, each map has their own and then they're all intertwined, and that'd be cool. Anyway, where am I going? I'm just sort of heading down. Where's. Because we've got. Oh, we've got to explore an area. We've got to get over here. I think the best way to explore that would be to get to the top, wouldn't it? So that's what we'll go for. Oh, it's a bit of a trip. Right. 
hopefully we'll uh, come across some fuel or something on the way. We've got, we've got fuel. We may want a little extra. See if I can get some high range on the go. Save us a little fuel while we're in uh, all wheel drive. So there's like over, literally over there, right in front of us, possibly, or is it up there? What is it up there? We seem to be having more terrain popping than ever before at the minute. I think it is. I think it's up over there, weren't it? Through the ghost town. This town. Oh, it's something of a ghost town. I've already triggered that. That's the, the Golden Trail, I think it was called. Over there is where we're going. So I may need to reassess my map. Oh no, that is it. That is it. That is the mark. Oh, I was looking at this. We're going over there. We're going further. Further than I thought. So if we go this way. Avalanche. That's a bridge. Oh, that's not good. It's not help us. So I'm guessing avalanches are played by uh, spare parts as well. Since that's all we carry to be able to do stuff, it's got to be. So we'll see if we can head through to that. Airdrop looking things around here that we could possibly use. You know, if it's, if it's got a job for us, that, you know, whether it's going to give us some supplies nearby, that'd be handy. That is the. That is the. Um, you should be flig. No, it doesn't look like there's anything there. We shall crack on. Explore 28% of the area, we haven't got there yet, so that's good. Superman eye lasers in full effect. Uh, 75. Done, just like that. Excellent. So we've cleared that path. Nice and simple. Get gone. But we've opened up a route. It's good. Binox. Can we see anything at all? We honestly got nothing. Nothing out here. It's the center of the scouting area. Venture on. A little bit of a dirt track this way, so we'll follow that round. A little wagon. A wagon in the way. A wagon in the way. There. 
there looks to be a track over that way. But remember, the track is often, often a dud. It's to lure you in, to think you've got away, and then there's not. Get the fly knocks out, see if that'll help us with the uncovering of the area at all. We'll find any goodies. What have we got here? Calm Lake, Red Water, Eastern Mines. There's stuff about. 45% uncovered. Explorer, no. Explorer, no. Call me Dora. The Explorer. Okay. get to the top we'll get the drone out and we'll have a really good look so but actually let's just have a little look at our map there we are right so oh i need to be cutting in don't i around water wrong address I'm fine. That's sort of my, my only only gripe doing things the way I'm doing them at the minute is that we return back to base. But you have to return back to base to get paid. So we could do all this. Then we have to drive all the way back out here to do this. But, you know. At the minute I can't think of another way to sort of put it all together. I think I need to be up there. I like to show you what I'm doing. I like to show you all my journey, just in case, you know. It's just sort of how I do things. Again, open to feedback on how you feel about more edited episodes, because I can do that. I can do some editing. If you think that would add add to the experience, or maybe just show it a little bit different. I'm not going to keep fighting, we'll just put, a, just put an anchor in. Or if I went to a lower gear and then just put the diff on, that'd be easier. Right. Should we get ourselves a little drone out? So if I go up there, so I don't have to go up that way. Ground, just get on the top. There's nothing up here, is there? There's not much up there for us. We'll try that. We'll try. They've got rid of the beeping as well, so the bad signal thing comes up, even though you've not got a bad signal. But the beeping has gone. So perhaps we just try and pull ourselves up there. So another bit that looks climbable. It might might have to then go back to that bit. That bit could be climbable. It's a bit of crack. Humble to the first hurdle. Standard. How about if we quite 
literally got absolutely no go in this truck. Need an engine upgrade for it, don't I really, I think? We're doing that thing where we're not we're gonna attempt to spin our tires and we're gonna be drive straight back. Despite me aiming my wheels in a different direction. Drive back to where we bloody were. Oh dear. See if I can get up the side on it. I just hope to not have to get a winch out all the time. me. <laughs> so if I push harder on the stick, it might actually turn the direction I want it to turn. Oh, the camera angle. Come on, bugger off. Only popping in every 10 seconds. Or, or even more frequent. Now, I wish we could just turn that off somewhere. I wish we could turn it off in SnowRunner, and I wish we could turn it off in this. I don't need that camera to zoom in, ever. Unless I want it to. That's when you'll know it needs to zoom in, so I will do it. drive around this end and make our way up there. So we look where we could. Ooh. Ooh. That's not <laughs> that's not good. Reflate my tire. Come on baby, reflate my tire. Up there. We see everything from here. So we've got to climb over there. We've got the bridge. We have an airdrop over there. We have another tower up over there. I guess that's probably what we were over here looking for. It's marked. So that's everything. So we've got to make our way over to the tower. Is there a quick way to... <laughs> oh, is there a safe way down? Not just a quick way down, is there a safe way down? Sweets. Fuel. Uh, we might have enough fuel to get there. Hopefully we have, if I don't know what to do. <laughs> if we can find a directish way down. Mm -hmm. 
silence for concentration. Um. Do we not have a anchor somewhere? No. Okay. We need a little tactical roll then, I think. Thank you. Tactical roll. Very much. <laughs> We've got to embrace them. We've got to embrace the rolls, and certainly the, the tactical roll. All the safe stars, man. Right. How did we get? Okay, it was down in the middle of the Oh no, that one went attackable. That one was just poor planning. through there? I don't think I do. Cross. Yeah, go through. I still didn't get it right, did I? No, it doesn't matter there. They are one the same, pretty much. Those platforms, or those plateaus. There we are. Sorry if I sound a bit mumbly, I've been talking downwards for a little while. Poor posture. In slack, right. The impassable rock. Do it. Well, so it has to be pretty just to get there. Remember that. <laughs> Tower. We're nearly on it. Another climb, another 100 credits. Bang it. Right, let's just turn the engine off as well for this one. Get the scan in. They're all a bit broken, let's be honest. They're all a bit knackered. I wouldn't try and uh, repair these, I'd just build some new ones. Uh, the beams began to bend due to rust. We hope that the government will quickly respond to this situation. Indeed. So we'll take a photo. Oh, we've got to get to the top for a photo. All right. Do that. Sure. 
has power. Yeah, I think this may have been... Although the... Um, is it a skip? Is it called a skip? I'm not sure if it is now. The other off-road truck we have is a little bit more powerful. I think it has struggled with the terrain. So I think the Tuz was a good choice. Whether the Pug would have been a better choice, I don't know. Because you can't carry as much... Um, resources, can we? Oh, you get up there for crying out loud. Tell me what it's stuck on, that rock. Move, just move the rock. This is, this is where it does get silly, those rocks. I'll say every episode, those rocks are starting to spoil things. Right. Where is it? There it is. Perfect. There we go. Job done. That was it. Expedition complete. Okay, so we have got miscellaneous emergency reserves mediums for what vehicle? I'm not sure. We didn't recognise three unknown points on the map. I don't know what it means by unknown points. If, if anyone knows and would like to clear that up for me, I would be more than appreciative of what it means by unknown points because we find things that we didn't know prior, but they don't count. So we'll get our rewards, but that is a 25 grand job. That's pretty good. 45 minutes. That was uh, a lengthy one, a lengthy one. So we'll head back to headquarters with that. And again, that will be it for today. I'd say 45 minutes. That's quite a job. And that's what's making me think we might need to do some longer episodes or I'm just going to have to do like some really long jobs in two. But I'd like to do some episodes where we do more of the out on the map tasks and contracts. In, in a single episode rather than just doing one of those little ones. Please, down in the down in the comments, give me some feedback on how you'd like to see that presented. And um, we can work somewhere in between, or if we, we're thinking the same thing, then that's what we go with. But hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. There are links to the Discord down there. Come and join us, share your screenshots, have a chat, introduce yourself, share your content if you're a content creator. There's a bit of space for everyone. Uh, but you guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.